Bitch from the love city, I don't know who you shooting with What's the word? What's the word, man? We back, man. Love from the trenches, man, with my homeboy T Marley. What's up, man? It's that new T Marley Batman yes, joint. Huh? Uh, Same with that joint. That's the Out West. Out West, Out West. All right, all right, all right. Man, I appreciate you uh coming through, man. Blessing the platform, man. I'm glad to have you here. Yes, sir. I always like interviewing people that I've already kind of like worked with. So, you know, we done shot a couple of videos together. But yeah. it just I think it just make it feel like a whole more like natural conversation, man. So uh just for the people that are not familiar with you, man, just introduce yourself, uh, where you from, how long you've been doing music, stuff like that. Category, okay, yeah. Well, for people that don't know me, uh, I'll go by the name T Model, you know what I'm saying? Look me up on YouTube, Spotify, all the streaming platforms. From the west side of Chicago, uh, North London area, born and raised, um, area Pacific, you know what I'm saying, like out California, Francisco, Polk, Albany, all through the Alexa, all through the, you know, bad kid, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, so I think I told you, like, when I met you, uh, I'm from right down the street, bro. I'm off of 18th, uh, Doug, yeah. right by yeah. Douglas Park. Yeah, he did. Right down the street from you, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, the familiarity right away, I'm like, I already know, I know exactly what area you was from. I work with, sometimes I work with a lot of artists where, like, I'm not too familiar with their with, with they neighborhood, but that yeah. wasn't the case with you, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, definitely, definitely. So how long you been doing music, bro? I've been doing music since, I'm I'm gonna be honest, like, you know, want to do music since I was a kid, but, like, actually doing music, like, taking it serious, i say for, like, four, five years now. So, like, consistent, like, studio time, videos, yeah. actually dropping content and, like, keeping uh -huh. the standing relevant, like, four, five years now. What made you want to start, like, Taking it serious and being consistent with it. The culture, the, the love for it, like the passion, like because you know what I'm saying, like life is music. You know what I'm saying. I grew up on music, so it's like shit. It's this, this like one of my callings. You know what I'm saying. I can't do too much. I can't play ball. Do <laughs> do too too much. You know what I'm saying. So it's like fuck it, I'm gonna do music. But like music is like definitely one of those. Uh, how can I say? Uh, like things that inspire a lot of people. You know what I'm saying. Are you feeling down. You play something that make you feel up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or you 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 motivated. You wake up early. You put on a certain thing. Now you turned for work. Now you on your way to work. You turned. You ready. You energized for work. You know what I'm saying? Not these eight hours out. So like music, it, it definitely control is world. I say that too. Like so, it's almost like it's almost like the soundtrack to your life, right? Yeah. Like, uh, that's yeah, like uh, you know. Uh, I feel I definitely feel that because it depends on the vibe I'm I'm in. You know, uh, it's is the type of music I play. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Like if I'm trying to, I'm trying to go to the gym and I don't feel too excited about going. I gotta get some turn, get some music yes, on. Yes, sir. Get in mode. Yes, you, sir. So I could tee up, or whatever. Uh, what kind of music you grew up listening to? Yeah, <laughs> I'm a '90s baby. You know what I'm saying. I grew up listening to like uh, who was popping in that area. I was young though, you know, but I know though because like I say, I love music. So like, pop. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, uh, the biggies and. Uh, the, or going into the 2000s, 50 Cent was mainly like one of them, you know what I'm saying? Then going a little more of like Gucci, you know what I'm saying? Lil Wayne's, the Yo Gotti's, you know what I'm saying? Rick Ross. So yeah. like, it's, it, it, my, my catalog is crazy. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. My picks crazy. But well, that, that's my era, the Pac and Biggie, the 90s era. That was yeah, my that's era. That, that's that, yeah, that's, that's <laughs> the music, yo. I, ain't, I, I listen to it. I'm older. older. Yeah. I feel you because when I was, you know, it, in the 90s, I was a, like a teenager. I was listening to old shit, you know what I'm yeah. saying? That was before my time, because yep. cause I appreciate music. Yeah, exactly, like, yep. and then that, I, I, the art I, of it, like, yeah. yeah, yes, sir. And then I used to like almost discovering where certain people got like a a, a beat from, or like, you know, a hook from, like, oh, this where this you got it, it from, you know what I'm Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, how the fuck? Oh, he, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, so what about any, uh, Local artists, were you like any a fan of any of the local artists in from the city? It's a lot of them, but the the one that be standing out the most, I'm gonna say like the one the work at the like crazy. I'm gonna have to say my little homie Lil Meech. Um, Lil Meech 
There's another one, uh, OT on Mexico. I stay seeing little bro, he stay dropping shit. Yeah, yeah, that's my he little be, homie, yeah. He be, he be working, I like that, you know what I'm saying? He don't matter where he dropping, working, working. So I was like, yeah, I respect that. Yeah. Uh, Bat B Easy, you know what I'm saying? Uh, my, my boy Haiti Baby. Um, like I said, it's a lot of them, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't I can't pick, there ain't no favor to them, everybody. They hot to me, you know what I'm saying? I get in my mold, like I say, I. Let me see what's popping right now. You know what yeah, I think, I think that's what's harder for me too right now, right? Because it's different from when I was young to now. You got so many options. You know what I'm saying? Like before, the options were limited. Yeah, so yeah, absolutely. Everybody kind of was familiar with, with the who, artists. Yeah, you know? like who was who? Now it's so many artists, bro. It's just like, I really just like listening to the artists I know, like yeah. that I'm in the shop with or whatever. Who work with Yeah, because you know yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your song. Yeah, you know appreciate that, man. Mexico song, uh, Izzo song. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, Izzo too. Yeah. Definitely shout out to bro too on game. That's what he been in the ring, though. He ain't really been, uh, he ain't been working like he, nah, been, he, been, he been focusing he been, on his boxing. Yeah, you know, because you know, when you get in that ring, you got to come all the way correct, man. You got to. You get, for, go in there, get hurt. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So he already know he ain't trying to get flattened. So he he going you know he going super hard on his yes, boxing. Sir. You know the, the music shit still here. We we got some stuff though that he been. We got a couple of videos. Clutch. We ain't, he told me like Dre just hold. It, you know what I'm saying? Because like once I start dropping again, I don't want to stop again. So yeah, hey, we yeah. got some stuff. He been working. It's just we ain't been uh putting it out there. But uh, so what do you think about the music scene in the city, man? How you think you fit in with the music scene here in the city? Well respected. I ain't gonna lie. Like. Perfectly, because I'm gonna give them the motivation music to go do something other than picking up a gun or, you know what I'm saying, slide. I'm gonna make them think like, damn, how the fuck he can yeah. afford a, a quarter million dollar house? That's right. expiring, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, hell so yeah. Different little lies that they, I'm saying in my raps, I hope they catching it. Like, the blind leading the blind out, you know what I'm saying? Right. That's why the shorty's gone, like, because that's what it is right now. So yeah. they getting confused and thinking, like, okay, yeah, I gotta. I got to do this to get respect. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Even if they ain't like, they might not be the, 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 the one in the crowd, but they might still feel like, shit, if I don't do that, I might not be in the crowd. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. yeah. No, and, and and that's big facts, bro. I mean, everybody, the whole world knows about kind of like the environment, the violence really in Chicago, right? Yeah, that's yeah, what, that's it's everything it's that makes the highlight. The, 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 uh, that's everything that makes headlines, right? Chicago violence, right? But we we know it's more to that in the city, and people just gonna act like they ain't nothing positive going on in the city. So I like what you how you saying it, like you know, uh, you inspiring people to do some productive with their life and, and yeah. you showing them. You know what I'm saying? Because you be working, bro. Like you really, really be working. You be shooting with everybody. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Every yeah, time yeah. Shoot, you you done shot with me. Uh, you done shot with my homie B Shooter. Yeah, uh, a bunch of different. I learned about different cameramen just from watching your videos. Like, yeah, shot that. I look decent. I yeah. go look them up. Like, <laughs> you know, just studying the game. You yeah, know what I'm saying? networking yeah, definitely. So, and I, but I also see because you know when when you from the trenches, bro. Like you you peep game, right? You see like you could kind of tell like who's and I, I hate like saying any type of negative, but you could kind of tell like who's a goofy. And yeah, who, and who absolutely, you know absolutely. What I'm and I watch how you move, bro. I watch, you know, how, you know, because we in Chicago, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And even though we want to be on something positive, like the next man still might want to cause you some harm. So you motherfucker always got to be aware. But you don't really know that unless you're from here and you're really from them trenches. And yeah, you, you know, know the vibe. That's yes, uh. So, like, I watch that, you know what I'm saying? I see how you move. So how how is, like, the, the place where you grow? Because I know exactly where you grew up, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I know what be going on over there. Man, how how does that affect like what you're trying to do with the music shit? You know what I'm saying? How does that affect you? Like, how, does it make you make like be real careful about what you say? Does it make you be careful about where you go record? Like, how does it? Yeah, affect you? yeah, absolutely. It's just you know, it's it's to be aware, to be alive. You know, especially out in in Chicago. You know what I'm saying? So you can't just even if you ain't don't game bang. You you can't even just go in certain places. Cause they are still a pressure. Where you from? Who you? Where you? Who is you? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. even if you that's if you don't gain bang so now now that you do claim something, it make it like ten times even worse now. Cause it's like, oh, we know who you is now. We know where you from, the area. Even if you ain't one of them dudes from the area, you know you somebody in that area did something. Now we come to get you too, cause you associated. Right. So it's 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 man, look, it's it's crazy, cause like 
nine out of ten, this one guy that might not even mess with nobody in the area. You feel what I'm saying? Uh -huh. He might just stick to do his own one too. And now I'm into it with the whole world because this dude up the street that I don't even talk to did something. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Like, but again, it's a product to your environment and you get to buy association, all mm -hmm. type of stuff come along with that. So it, it's crazy, man. Like, but the area I'm from is like, you know what I'm saying, California street. I lost a lot of dead homies, you know what I'm saying? I'm seeing a lot of people that seen me grow up and they ain't here right now, you know what I'm saying? That mm -hmm. I know if they was here, they'd be proud of me, like, man, keep going. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that'd be sometimes I'd be thinking myself, like, damn, that's the the, the biggest motivation I be missing sometimes too, like that push. Like I'm knowing my people was here that was still living and had love for me. They'd be like, yeah, keep the, the shows would be packed up. A lot of stuff would be going on. But again, the product of our environment is like, sure. they, everybody, oh, we gotta get a gun, we gotta kill, we gotta do this, we gotta fit in. So it's crazy. I definitely feel that when you're talking about like a lot of people that's not here no more. Uh, to me, I feel like they still with me. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. still, when I walk the in the room, they walking in the room with me. You know, yeah, that energy, I'm up. It's almost like I'm representing that era, you know. Uh, and there've been times where like I, I've been kind of like under pressure, where I could have played myself, right? You know, I got I got jammed up in the street, whatever. Mm -hmm. And then people had me you know, under pressure. And there was people, you know, how your family just wants you to come home. They just like, man, just do what you gotta do to get home. And I'm like. I feel like, man, I'll be disappointed everybody that's not here no more because I knew how we grew up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm going to just hold strong. I know what the fuck this is, what came with this. You know, it's, I'm in the jam, but it, it, ain't the end, it ain't the end of the world. I'll be back home eventually. You know what I'm saying? Type shit. Yeah, yeah. So, definitely. Uh, so I definitely, definitely feel that, bro. And and like I said, I, I can tell kind of like uh, just by the way you move, the people you got around you, just, you know what I'm saying, that, that uh, we familiar. Like I said, I'm right down the street from you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely. How do you feel about like people that kind of like just be clout chasing and just be on some negative shit? Cause to keep it real, that negative shit get a lot of attention. Yeah, you know, so a lot of people like uh, won't shoot with me because I won't put the guns in the video, and they know like they flash a bunch of guns in the video, that shit's gonna draw attention. You know what I'm yeah, saying? absolutely. And it's like it, it, it was a couple artists that I really wanted to shoot with. But they're like, man, I got to put these guns. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, <laughs> you know, I can't. Again, I got to stick to what I'll you know, be standing on. So it's, it's all love. Like, no, I don't judge you, but it's whatever. So how do you, like, balance that? You know what I'm saying? Because you got to, like, let motherfuckers know you still in tune or whatever. But still at the same time, like, not play yourself. Keep the guns out the videos. Kids watching. Yeah. That's the big thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, even if you don't got kids, you got little cousins. You got little nephews. They watching, you know, even if you ain't the rapper in the video, you just the person that's doing this. Yeah. They watching. So now your nephew and your little cousin, they got the image of, they think it's I got to get a gun and I got to do this too. When I get old, I'm going to be just like my big cousin or my brother or my dad. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. that's why I try to not put no scrap in my hand in no videos because like yeah. my son be watching my shits, my little nieces and my nephews. So I'd be like, nah, what type of, uh, 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 image or uh, not even image. What type of person? What type of? Uh, uh, how can I say? Help me out. Help me out, man. Help, help me out. Yeah, like example. Like, how, how, right. what I be saying. You know what I'm saying? Like you almost like them shorties be looking up to you, bro. And yeah. You don't realize how much influence you got. Yeah, you absolutely. Yeah, yeah, I do. I remember like when I was still in the street and I pull up. I pull up at some foreign, you know, brand new out the dealer, and I remember like little shorty running up to the car. What's up, Drew? And I was like. You almost feel guilty because you they so innocent they so little shorty like nine years old yeah and he probably thinking this is exactly this how you supposed to be yeah and it's like nah like nah this, you don't see all the bullshit that comes I'm with it yeah yes sir it's just like man does like you don't want that for him you see the innocence you know what i'm saying but a lot of times there ain't nobody there kind of like to guide him and, and i want to touch on something that you said right you say your son yeah watch your stuff that means like you 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 in your son's life, you know what I'm saying? Like right now that I'm older, I do like a lot of like, you know, violence prevention work in the neighborhood that I'm from, right? Yeah. Work with the little youngsters that's, you know, gang, like gang involved or whatever. Yeah. And I see like a com a, a common denominator or like the wildest ones, bro, is like they pops don't be in the life. You know yeah. Yeah. They just out here wild as hell. And and it's like a pattern. It's like, all right, this is too much coincidence, you know what I'm saying? So like, 
how important do you think it is? Because I know I know my son, right? Mm -hmm. He's growing up way different than how I grew up. But he knows exactly what these streets are about. Like, like he ain't stupid or nothing, but he ain't doing the shit that I'm doing. And I think a big reason is because I'm watching him. Yeah, you do. Know I'm saying you do. Hands on. You feel, Absolutely. you feel the same way? Hell hey, yeah. Like, like. You know what I'm saying? Coming up, like, you know what I'm saying? It was rough. On the West Side, rough, man. You, yeah. Like, it's rough. Like, let's be real. Chicago, like, so you coming up, like, you know what I'm saying? The drug infested, you know, blows, rocks all through here. So, my daddy wasn't in my life. So, I as I hear you saying, like, little shawty, little hot, yeah, it's going to be like that because we have no one there hands on. Even if you got a big brother, your big brother might be in the streets. Mm -hmm. He not, he thinking about making money or whatever he doing. You need that father figure in that. You know what I'm saying? That 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 role model, hands on. You feel what I'm saying? That that. Hey, what you doing? You, you come home from school. You did your homework. You didn't. Man, come on, let's get to this homework. Yeah. I ain't had that. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, but I thank God that I'm in a position now that I'm in to be like, hey, look, I'm now hands on seven days a week, twenty four seven. I ain't leaving my. Ass. You know what I'm yeah, saying? So, yeah. it's a big, it's a big role, definitely. Cause you know. I I came home just in time when I left. My son was one. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? When I came home, he was twelve. So I called him like right before. You did like what? That was like 10, 11 years. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah, bro. And, and you know what's crazy? The first summer I was home, the first summer I was home, somebody called me and like, hey, Dre, I, I just seen your son on Snapchat throwing up gang signs. <laughs> bro, like I went straight over to where I, man. like I got there like in ten minutes, and he was still with the same little shorties. That was throwing up gang signs with him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and I told him like, nah, bro, like ain't gonna be none of that, bro. Like that shit's dead, bro. I don't give a fuck. You like, got to, you got to stay on that get business. Into it with them. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck yeah, hell yeah. I came home two years earlier. You know, Obama passed that drug sentencing law, so I got home two years earlier than what I was supposed oh, to. Oh, the king. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. I just be thinking, damn, what if I didn't come home that summer? That might have been the one summer because you know that turned them out. Summer, what? what that's all it take one summer. I swear to God, that's all it take one yeah. fucking summer. So I, just, I was just man. Turn you I was, out. I was so grateful, bro. And it's it's crazy because some of them shorties that he used to like be around. You remember, twelve years old, bro, grammar school, they kids, babies still. Their parents, their dad wasn't around, bro, and they, they, so they went all the way, street route, you know what I'm saying? Type shit, yeah, yeah. So, just in, in the last, in the last month, bro, out of them same little shorties, mm -hmm. one of them got shot yesterday, he's cool. Damn. Another one got shot, like, three weeks ago, he's still in the hospital, he had to have some, so he gonna be cool. Another one just caught a body, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just thinking, like, damn, if I'm not around, my son could have been right in that boat. So I think, like, it's, it's real important, like, yeah, no, that people yeah. get to see, like, people like like you, bro, that, you know, you got sons and you you involved in their life, man. Like, you around. Because if you don't watch them, bro, the street's going to watch them for you. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. And we already know how that going to go. Yeah, yeah, been, man, it ain't, it, ain't it ain't nothing nice, yo. That shit definitely ain't nothing nice. Especially if you got a chance to save them, too. Hell, yeah. Yeah, so but then you got I respect you too though, as a father too, like you know what I'm saying, man to man, cause like most dads come straight home from the feds and try to get their life together. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Before they even reach out to their kids and getting their kids life, they try to work on they self. You know what I'm saying? They be like, yeah. that stuff is you just did your mistake for your crime. These kids ain't they ain't asked to be here, you feel what I'm saying? So yeah. for you to come home from the feds and, and get dead in this life, like, hey look, it's over with. Yeah. All that shit over with. I'm here. Like and it was that's humbling, respect. bro. It was, yes, sir. That's respect. Man to man, that's man. respect. Hell yeah, yeah. You know, I had to come home, get a regular job. Never had a job before. I had to come, you know, because I, I can't just tell them, like, you can't be doing this. Like, I'm like, I got, I'm going to show you. You know what I'm saying? It, it's a way. It ain't easy, but it's going to be. A, I got to make a way to make it on my own the right way so I can show you I'm not just talking shit. Like, this shit is real. You know what I'm saying? And, and now I, you kind of got like a guide on how to do it. Like you can't tell me you can't do it because I just did it. You know what I'm saying? I had to start my whole life over at like damn near 40 years old. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It is. It's a reset button. <laughs> so, so. Damn, that shit. You fresh. That's, that's a soul. That's a decade. Yeah, hell yeah, man. So, uh, so I just, I just, you know, like, and we're not judging nobody that's not in their kids' life because, you know, sometimes, you know, like, they don't probably know how to be a good dad because they never had one, right? So I'm not trying to be judgmental or nothing like that. But yeah. just like if you're yeah. out here having 
you if you out here you know about to have a shorty or something just kind of like had that in mind man like they they gonna need you to be around bro yes sir and if you out here you know doing just a bunch of shit that you know you taking these chances on man just know like you, you ain't the only one at risk you know what i'm saying but uh but let's get on the lighter note bro like i see you just work with uh with my homie uh you know bat beasy I just interviewed him, you know, uh, a couple weeks ago. <laughs> how'd that whole scenario, like, how that whole situation come up? Uh, man, BZ energy crazy, man. <laughs> I was uh, on my way in the studio, and uh, I'm, 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 in the, I'm in the studio. I came in the studio, and he was in that motherfucker rapping, but he never came out the booth. And I just heard him rapping. But I've been hearing the name Buzz, like, Bad BZ, Batman, Batman. But I never met him, you see what I'm saying? I'm like, who, who that is in the booth going crazy like that? Like, That's BZ, I'm who? They're like that's Batman out, boy. <laughs> boy, yeah, hook that up, boy. I need a, I need a feature, boy. So when you come up out that motherfucker, hook that up. And she, you know, shout out to Spain too for hooking that up, Joe. So we worked like that, shit. Yeah. Is there any other artists from the city, or just in general? Cause I don't, I know you don't work with a few artists. Uh, what's the dude out of Milwaukee? You didn't just shout out. Uh, Chicken P. Yep. Shout out Chicken P. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How'd that situation come about? Chicken, uh, chicken been. I ain't. I've been up on chicken for like two, three years. You know what I'm saying? And I, I, I told myself like, yeah, I when I work on this tape, I need to reach out to him. And so it happened, my little homie Malik, he already just did a song with him. So he just posted. I'm like, what he, what he hollering, bro? Like, you know, I do business. You know what I'm saying? I'm a businessman. He like, um, shit, I'm hollering for you. I'm like, I don't do no just no songs. I need the video too. We gonna yeah. work, work. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. He like shit. Let's do it. I, I reached out to him. We worked. I sent the feature through. He knocked that motherfucker out the same day. Sent it back. Within that week, we went back out there. Took a trip to Milwaukee and shit. We had fun. Dude. We yeah. lit. That's another thing about you, bro. I see like you be really investing in your career, man. Like you, you get them features that you need. You know, you you hop on that flight. You know, you take that ride. I see you. I done seen you in Vegas. All type. Yes, be sir. all over the place, yes, man. Sir. So uh networking, man. Got that, to, you, that, can't, you can't just stay in one spot, man. You gotta you gotta move around. Especially if you want your name to get out there, cause if your neighborhood ain't gonna support you, they don't mean the, the world won't. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like the world, the, the world he is over with. They gonna sometimes, let, sometimes, sometimes like, it work. Sometimes it works backward. The whole world starts supporting you, then you yeah, 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 definitely, definitely, definitely. Oh, man, he ain't doing nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, but you the only dude too. You the only dude that ever gave me like an invoice. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. We got receipts and everything. You know? like, hold on, man. Here I need you to sign right here. Like you know, you're a businessman. You know, I'm fine. Yes, sir. All this shit. This yes, shit. sir. You know because a lot of people don't know that they. A lot of people be waiting on the labels to come. Yeah. Here you go. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, really, it's you. You are the label. You, if you think about it, you know what I'm saying? You create your own shit and go and push your own shit. Yeah. And I've been collecting royalties and doing my thing off that shit. I, I thank God. I found the way. Because like, like I said. I'm older, right? Yeah. So I remember how the music industry used to be, where like you'll get signed and then the label will build you up as an artist. Yeah, that's what they, they do. They'll invest in you, AR, you, all that shit. But now they don't want to touch you unless you, you already get yourself yep, up. Unless you already hot. So I'm I'm like, from I'm from I'm from the old school, bro. I'm like, okay, so if they already built up, what the fuck they need you for? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, it's like it's like this is how I look at the hard work. Now, exactly. Hey, can I get some of your money? Exactly. Like, what? Uh, I'm bound to stay independent. But I'm being honest, though. Sometimes they add a little more fire to it. Right, right. They add a little more fire to the situation. You know what I'm saying? Like, let, me, let, me, let me rephrase that, right? It's not a bad thing. You just got a lot of leverage now. Yeah. When, yep. when you when you negotiating. And I just hate when the artists still feel like, oh, like, thank you, label, for coming. Like, no, nah, oh, like, you, you got you something that. that they need, too. They need that. So when you're talking business, make sure they understand that. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. Get your fair share. Yeah, hell yeah. Because they, they ain't the only ones that see you, like, shop around. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Especially you got, if you got some buzzing, man. So is that something that you would like to do eventually one day, like, get a label uh, behind you? Because they do yeah, have. Yeah, yeah. I, have, I done had Spawn, Spawn Tour Records. I had a couple labels reach out to me. 50,000, 75, 125. But it was like, bro, I I got that right here. Bro. Yeah. I, I got that. I ain't, right. But but now that I was talking to more peoples and networking, it's like, you know, so sometimes, like I just said, they add the fire to the flame. Right. I'm already a little buzzing. And they just add a little more fire, and it's like, yeah, and, but sure. then it's like, can they do that, though? I, you know what I'm saying? Will they do that, too? Like, Cause then they'd be like, I sat there and be like, okay, I'm on the shelf, just waiting now. 
Right. I'm waiting on my turn to come off the shelf. And I've been uh, sitting duck and it's over with now. So it's like, why well, do that? And I'm already doing what I'm doing. That ain't nothing. Right. I mean, especially when I got to pay the taxes off that. That ain't shit. Yeah, hell yeah. So basically, like, if you're going to make me sit for a while, I better be super straight. You better come with some answers. You feel me? Like, <laughs> hell yeah. What, make, worth the while. Shit, hell yeah. I'm on, yeah. I'm on with it. So, I, I mean, uh, so like, is there any like artists that you like kind of like look at? Far as like how they took care of their business that you kind of be like yeah I can I like how you do this you know uh that I work with let me see the um uh, Z Money Z Money I, I I I he was like one of my first big big features shout out to Big Bro too for that uh I think how he went went about certain things but it it rubbed off for me them three four days I was with him. I learned a lot, like, about the streaming shit and certain shit. So I was like, okay. You know what I'm saying? Just, but like they say, you can learn a lot from being around a person, though. Like, so, sure. definitely liked how he, how he did his business, how he had his manager set up and everything. So I definitely like that. I peep that. Uh, there was another artist, too. That, uh, Peso Peso. Peso Peso. Yeah. I, he had his manager reach out to me for the video shoot and et cetera. So I liked that, so I'm like, yeah, I definitely need a manager. It let me know I need to do more things on my end, because I don't got no manager. Right. I don't got none of that. So it's just like everything that is on my own, I'm, I'm putting the full work in and everything, so. Yeah, yeah hold on, I'm, I'm, I'm still wrapping this uh, interview up. Give me about 10 minutes. All right. Yeah, so why don't you got no manager? Man. Is it a choice, or you, I, think, I, you don't think it's time yet, or? Uh, I had a manager. I had a manager. My my big brother was my manager, but in certain situations, it wasn't it wasn't going to where I love and feel to death. That's my big brother. It just you know it was, it was it's a lot going it's on hard, with that shit. It's, it's, it's a lot going on with that shit because I was I was looking for more than what I was looking for too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was being a little stubborn too about certain situations. Like damn, you know what I'm saying? I supposed to be doing this and doing that, but. I feel like that's supposed to be his job to do. Right. You know what I'm saying? As yeah. a big bro, the you know, manager, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So right now, I don't got no manager. I'm just like, fuck that shit. They so, say the management deal, though, is one of the worst ones, though. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to be getting a chop or, or whatever bread you got coming in, and he about, like, in my eyes, like, he need to be earning that. He need to be helping creating some of those situations if, you know, if he's your, like, manager, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. More shows, opportunity. I, I, that's my thing. The exposure. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I, the exposure is everything. Like uh, the shows, the, the the tours, all that shit. The merchandise. You know what, right. what I'm saying? Like the exposure is everything right now that uh, artists need. Yeah, yeah. So, so you you know, you mentioned a bunch of young artists that I work with, right? Like like uh, OTM Mexico, Mexico. Yeah. His own Nash, my little homie uh, Damien, my little yeah. homie Zay. What advice you got to them little young art, them young artists that just getting started, or to any other artists that just about to get started? Like, what's what's the number one thing that you should have, them, that you would tell them to focus on, more than more like more than anything? The business, learning the business of it, um, understanding what marketing and promotion means, and understanding what the artist development mean, and you know what I'm saying, like really getting into the business of the music instead of just Going to the studio, making a song, just putting on Instagram and think it's gonna blow. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's way more to it. Um, don't wait for a label neither. Don't don't think our label just gonna come and grab you just cause you're doing one, two, three, four. You gotta have the whole complete package. You know what I'm saying? Just keep going. Don't even wait for no label. Stay independent. Come on with your own shit. Love City. You know what I'm saying? Man, not Bennett. Come on with your own LLC. You know what I'm saying? Keep pushing independently. You know what I'm saying? And, and make sure everything you got is paperwork, paper trail. You know what I'm saying? So on your business. Yeah. For my independent artists that got business already. Because, like, when they come asking questions, you got to have that shit ready, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got to have it ready. You know, one of the one of the, one of of the the main things I be telling them is, like, man, work with the people that want to work with you. Hell you know yeah. what I'm saying? Hell yeah. They might not be as, as big or maybe sometimes not as good as mm -hmm. the other and I'm talking like even from like a cameraman aspect or a feature, you know, if if they willing to work with you and they willing to grind and build with you, like man, like if I was an artist, that's who I want to work with. Yeah, you know I mean? yeah. See, I know this dude's cool. I know, but it's like man, it's gonna cost me a lot of money to work with him. Mm -hmm. That's the only way he's gonna work with me because I'm new. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I need to keep 
consistent. So I got a better of a chance being consistent with him. His videos might not look like his videos, but I'm going to be steady dropping. Yeah. And I'm going to try to help him get better because it's going to help Make me out. get better. Yep. It's networking. Yep. So that's kind of like what happened with my situation. The shorties that I was working with consistently, they was helping me get better on, on the camera side. What? You know what I'm saying? You right now, you like, you see. So now, like, yeah, bro. So yes, you, sir. You see what you're You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I, yeah, I see it. So, uh, so, yeah, man. So, like I said, bro, I'm glad you came through. Absolutely, glad for having me. Talking it up with you, bro. Like I said, man, we from we from the same area, so you know I'm gonna stay supporting you, man. Like, like I said, bro, I think you're a good example of, of like somebody really pursuing a passion, really thinking this shit out, really got a plan. Cause I hear like we don't talk before, and you actually got a plan of, of what you're trying to do, right? So before we wrap this up, man, what you got coming up this year, man? Like in the next six months? Uh, working on this album, man. Like, I've been putting. Thousands with this motherfucker like, project, like man, like thousands. When I say thousands. I've been putting thousands in this project, y'all. Like really working on this project, cause I, I like I really sat down with my producer. Like he like, man, you need that body of work that had him like that with that stuff like right that. So I've been really focusing on that. All my songs I've been putting out, I haven't never mastered. So now I'm in this year. I'm on all master. Everything getting mastered. You know what I'm saying? So spending money on that. Um, Wrapping up this video from Vegas and LA. Uh what else? Uh, Mo Trip, Mo Whip, New June. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Definitely gonna be some more shit, man. You gotta shoot again too, bro. We ain't shot in a minute. No, yeah, definitely. You know we we're gonna shoot some here, my homie. Definitely work. I just straight down the gym. They got some shit in the building, man. Great Nova Studios, man. Make sure y'all come tap in, I man. Love this place it. is dope, man. Tap in. He got no spot. My head, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Gotta, you ain't even know that was here, right? I gotta be back here. Yeah, yeah. Y'all gonna see it though, man. Definitely. All right, man. Well, I appreciate you, man. And with that being said, man, before we leave, too, real quick, tell me where they can find you. Family man, Instagram, T Molly underscore mob ENT, Facebook. I don't really be on Facebook, but for those that got Facebook, <laughs> Molly T Study Modern, man. Thanks All for right. having me too, bro. What about shout out to Love City. You got a YouTube channel? YouTube channel, shout out to my YouTube channel, shout out to my people, my unedited uh, man, my promotion, my marketing people. Um T Molly T. That's All the right, channel. T Molly T M A R L E Y. Love T City TV, man. Make sure y'all click the subscribe button, man. T Molly in the building, West Side. You know what I'm saying? We out here. Peace. Yo, Marley. Marley. You ain't shooting with Lost City. I don't know who you shooting with. God, Marley. Marley. Yo, you know you fucking need to shoot. Stay gone, baby. All that love shit. Take off. I'm going to wait, you know what I'm saying? Shout out Cobra, my little slime really wipe shit. How you sell drugs to buy drugs? You want some hype shit? Internet gangsters, I'm the wrong nigga to type with. Bro got the button, he like teach on the kill switch. Doing business with the best, this is art, you can't rush it. Might not like what you don't know, but once you learn, you'll love it. Out West 290, where the murder rate high. Niggas broke, so they rob and sell drugs to get by. Niggas shot at me and miss, ain't no weapon for him to get me. I was mad about the whip, but shit, I'm happy they ain't hit me. My little T's, they go dumb dumb. We had everything but hope where I come from. I got New York friends like some you hot, son. And yeah, I'm always in the middle, I'm like a Malcolm. Yeah, they ain't wanna help me make it, but wanna help me spend it. When I first dropped that straight, niggas thought that it was rented. We was plotting 30 days, shit, it only took six. I got 30 on my neck and got about 10 on my wrist. Hard days in the trenches, we was stuck and taking risks. Ain't no clowns in my circle, you know squares could never fit. Niggas burn this bridge with me, well, I hope that he can swim. This a different type of balling, damage jumping at the gym. Show me love.